Okay, to illustrate the concept of isostasy, I have a glass jar filled with uh, blue tinted water and a plastic container that's holding a whole bunch of um, popping corn. Um, just to try to show this whole idea. So the concept of isostasy is that when you have two materials, one sitting on top of the other, the material that is less dense will float on top of the other one because of their differences in density. Um, and when we talk about isostatic equilibrium, this says that when we add material, okay, so in this case, the bucket with the uh, corn is representing the lithosphere. So if we have mountain building and we start to add material to the lithosphere. Okay, we can see that we're increasing the amount of material that we have and the whole tub is starting to sink a little bit deeper. Okay, so it's isostatically adjusting itself um, in the denser material down below, the water in this case, so it's displacing it. And what we actually see is that roughly the same proportion of the material sitting um, uh, that's pressing down into the water is the same as that that we can see on top and with this corn it's being added unequally um, into the jar okay now the same concept says if we remove material say by uh, weathering we're going to start to remove this corn we'll put it back in the container if I take it away so we've removed material there's not as much in there I'm going to kind of spread it back out so it's even um, we can see that the container is lifted back up and we still have the same proportion of uh, the container sitting below the water that we do above. Okay, so as we adjust the amount of material that we have in the container, um, we're going to see this start to adjust up and down. So again, just one more look at it, um, looking at this container so we can see through it to see that the proportion, if we add it, it's going to go down and it will rise back up. The last way that we can look at isostasy is um, something that you're probably more familiar with and that would be taking something like ice. In this case we have the, you can't really see it, but it's the Han Solo ice cube frozen uh, <laughs> in the ice cube block. Um, if we set that into the water, this would just be like ice sitting inside your glass. We'll get the air bubbles out from underneath it. But we can see that the ice cube is floating on top of the water because the ice cube is less dense than the water, okay? Um, and actually, that's great. We can actually see the top of Han Solo. There's his head. Um, I'm sorry, very dorky little bit right there. So if we were to sit here and watch this ice cube melt over time, the ice cube is going to get smaller. And we would actually see that as it shrinks, we're gonna see the same amount of material floating above and below. And I'm just going to demonstrate that by showing what happens if we have a smaller ice cube. It's the exact same shape, again, with the little Han Solo. I'll set this in here and we can actually see it did just crack. Um, but when we compare them, you know, we're going to see roughly the same amount above the water as below. So as these two ice cubes melt, they will start to isostatically adjust um, so that we're seeing the same proportion above the water as below. I hope that helps you understand the concept of iso isostatic equilibrium and that adjustment process.